Now we're in another house and this is an unconditioned basement. This is a can of great stuff. It's not the only product of its type on the market, but it's the most easy to find. Um, and it's pretty cheap. A can like this costs you somewhere from four to five dollars. The only downside is, okay, a few things. One, it's, it's an expanding foam. So shake the can up a lot for a good 30 seconds at least before you start using it. It expands a lot, so do it slowly because if you go too fast, there's places where it's going to expand and actually kind of fall off. Um, but where you have large gaps to fill, there's nothing better than a, a one-part expanding foam. A um, couple of things to note, it's very, if it gets in your skin, it's not going to burn you, but it, you ain't getting it off. You can take it off with acetone while it's still wet, but acetone's not really good to put on your skin, so your choice. Best thing is to try not to get it on your skin at all. Wear gloves. Um, you might want to wear glasses too, safety goggles, because if this got in your eyes, it could lead to blindness. Um, it's not likely, but it could, and that's just one of those risks you don't really want to take. So you make sure it's good and shaken up and then now it's set to go and you're going to hold it upside down and you're going to squeeze upwards this way and it'll come out here. Okay, so I'm going to put on gloves. <coughs> and put on my glasses. And we're ready to go. All right, now, these here, these are the floor joists, every one of these. These are the floor joists. They're, they're what holds your floor up. At the end, there's this piece of wood here. See what I'm pointing at? This vertical piece that butts up against the end of the floor joist. It goes all the way around the whole house. And this piece is depending on what part of the house it is, at one end or the other end, it's either the rim or the bend joist. This one down here, under that, that's the sill plate. Now the sill plate is, this, is where the wood house begins. It sits on top of the foundation, which is usually a concrete block foundation. And newer construction, there's often some kind of rubber in between here to stop uh, the air leakage. But older construction, they just plopped it down. So we're going to air seal all along this crack here. And then within each of these cavities, we're going to air seal all four edges of each cavity. So I'm going to try sealing the bottom of the sill plate with great stuff. Now, if you notice, it's not much for crack there. So it might even be easier for you to use caulk, either one. But I got this for other purposes up here. So we'll try to use it. Okay, so I open it, press it as gently as possible. You see the stuff can be messy. Afterwards, if you want, you can take a, um, a knife, a Stanley knife, something, and cut this all off. It becomes very easy to cut once it's dry. Right now, it's super sticky. Okay, so I would do this all along the whole edge of the basement, whole edge of the whole house. So now I'm sealing all four edges of all the silk and band joists. So this is more or less what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. It really doesn't have to be pretty. No one's going to be seeing it. And what I would recommend you do anyways after this is add insulation in here. 
if better yet add insulation to all your floor but at least into these some like R19 just to fill this cavity in here for everyone every one of the cavities of your whole house one of the things about great stuff it's cheap but the can won't last you it'll pretty much dry up so you might as well use it for all you can as soon as you've opened it if you use it all day it'll last all day the problem is it dries up and after a day after two days it's probably a throwaway so here you see that gap that's a good size gap for this stuff because it's a little too big for cock to easily fill so I give it a good shake because the stuff doesn't like being upside down or sideways Okay, so there's another one there. This is an electric cable. And a water pipe here. Okay. So we just sealed up these three air holes. And you know what? Even if you didn't make a perfect seal, you've made it way better. <laughs>